Okay, so I was asked a question on, on basically seeing others who've got things uh, like a better home or more money or live in a nice location um, and uh, having that going on um, in consciousness. And, you know, what, one can, what can you do as a spiritual student if uh, the ego keeps doing this thing like uh, this person's got, you know, I wish I had this person's home or I wish I was as rich as this person or I wish I had as great a social life as this other person or this other person is just so healthy and my health is bad, <clears throat> you know, whatever it is. And I, um, we all identify with uh, that tendency of the ego to want what others have or, or to feel in victimhood or deprivation or to compare and, and, and therefore suffer to when one sees others having what seems to be more uh, compared to the ego. This is a, a normal thing and is part of the spiritual journey for transcendence. Um, you know, I, I'd like to give some tools and, and share how I would deal with it. Um, just from a 12 step point of view, like let's say I, I saw someone's got, uh, someone was a billionaire um, and I thought, oh, I wish I was a billionaire and had billions of pounds. Then I would just pray uh, from a 12 step tool, it would be just praying uh, for their happiness, their well-being, their health, their prosperity, they have a happy, you know, just to pray for all good things for them. And then that will, that's one way of eradicating um, this uh, feeling of limitation or victimhood within me, because uh, it just tends to open uh, the heart and then it tends to let go of that being a thing in consciousness where my ego is going, haven't I wish I had what they've got. It starts to delete from consciousness and I'm returned to the present moment because it's like that belief system and that energy of, uh, of, of um, is that ego energy of not enough, which is being projected through the belief systems into the world and then saying, I wish I had more money or I wish I was, uh, whatever it was, uh, starts to disappear because the sense of peace and presence an eternal love starts to become so strong that those, um, and the vibration of that means that one doesn't go into, one is filtering from a higher level of consciousness where those negative fear-based or victim thoughts don't come because the energy and the belief systems associated with that vibration uh, no longer exist. So, so that's uh, one way, that's the 12-step prayer. The other thing I would be doing is obviously, uh, I would say <clears throat> there's an energy of lack in some way, if my ego is going into comp comparing, like this person's got a, a better home than me, for example, then it means that there's, you know, I'm tuned into a low vibration at the moment. So the next thing I would do is I'd go, <clears throat> am I experiencing some level of fear, anxiety? Am I feeling tired or exhausted? Is my spiritual, emotional, physical energy in any way depleted? Which is then uh, making me tune into a radio frequency tuning into a lower spiritual frequency, an ego frequency, maybe fear, anger, uh, pride, uh, could be pride, like I should be better than others, um, <clears throat> uh, or victimhood or, or shame, it could be shame, like tuning into maybe, oh, I'm ashamed, I, I live in such an awful location, whatever it is, what, it, what is the vibration? Can I feel that energy? And then if I can feel any sort of pride, uh, the vibration of pride or shame or guilt or fear or anger, uh, whatever it is, I, I will feel that energy out, not going to the thoughts, disengage from thoughts of comparison and just feel out any shame, guilt, fear, anger, pride, whatever it may be. And as, as I feel it out, I always find as I get this inner sense of peace that also the thoughts will start to disappear. It's like as I go up the levels of consciousness and start to feel peaceful and happy, it's like those thoughts start to just disappear. So that's another tool I would use, and that's what I call field of feelings, or it's Hawkins' letting go process. The other one I would do is the Course of Miracles, either cancelling of beliefs, or God did not create it, or um, or placing uh, like I place my comparison thoughts um, of other people's properties into God's infinite light and love, and I pray for miracles and transcendence. Or God did not create other people having better. Uh, living accommodation than myself and so it is not real. So what I'm doing now is just washing out the belief system. This, you know, so 
the negative energy is just latching onto my belief systems. And uh, the reason that uh, it goes into the belief systems is because my ego has made like properties meaningful, has made living accommodation special. So it's imbued with magic, magical qualities or special qualities, or I've ha higher powered uh, the properties that people live in. So that's why it registers in consciousness and I have belief systems in me. But any belief system I have, I ca can be deleted through the power of God, through God did not create these belief systems about properties in me, and so they're not real. If I keep doing that, it just dissolves it because in the infinite uh, God consciousness of love, that negative limited belief system, it does not exist. And uh, there's only uh, the true vision of God's love. And so these limited perceptions di dissipate in the light. Um, so I can, I can use the canceling belief, so God did not create um, comparison with properties and so it's not real. Or I'll just keep saying, I place my comparison thoughts of properties into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles and trends. I, if it's something that's really disturbing me, I might do it throughout the whole day, just uh, nonstop. And then I'll find it'll start to delete. I'll find it even harder and harder to have that comparison. It's like I've invited the Holy Spirit, I've invited grace, I've invited the infinite light of consciousness to dissolve that uh, limited belief system in my operating software and just eradicate it. And so it will, my consciousness will raise and that will be deleted. So all these um, conflicting or dualistic um, conflicts that arise in consciousness, you know, can be deleted and that would be my aim as a student of Dr. Hawkins to have full transcendence so that, that that no longer comes. And I can just check myself on a daily, monthly basis to see how well I'm doing, whether that's reoccurring for me or not, and to what level of severity. Okay, so I'm gonna start.